Um, 19, 15. So that's gonna be um, 34, of course. And let's see what he picks here. Hmm, okay. Then I'm gonna go with the Monir strategy with, ele with the elementals. I'm gonna show you the new meta for conflicts. And why my opponent will probably regret picking what he did. So good luck, a fun, and away we go. Oh no no no. Excuse me. Alshab is the number one throw on Twitch. He throws without even noticing it. Bruh. Nah. No. Oh, these are starting on me over here. Okay, let's go. Early are amazing. The neck of swiftness immediately is a pretty amazing feel. Okay. Um Okay. We have a rampant side. Uh, that is my opponent's buy-in. A uh, mid-castle! Okay, we're going tempo. And that's my buy-in. And the tower side. Alright. So this is gonna be likely a keep. Ah. Uh, this would've been actually an amazing start here. Like, it was so amazing. Mm, fire Ellie. It's not the preferred outcome. But it's not vicious. Let's see. I think that's the port of the cove side. Uh, the middle is four, so that was a cove side. That is m uh, my biome. There's a castle sign. And that is my opponent's biome. Wait, no, that's my biome. What? I just... what? Mm, the shard is not very good. Actually, I do have an Elecopia on my road, though. That's kind of nice. Can I even do it properly? I'll go here, here, here. I already have free knowledge, but I would have to go like for that spell scroll. If not for this spell scroll positioning, then I might have kept, but like this is gonna be a reset. Yeah. Hint your conflicts. Okay, okay. Hey, slot machine. I have fishes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, grease, by the way. That's cool. I have all the free scrolls already as well. Yeah, that's kind of amazing, actually. Scouting! Oh my god, the game is so good. Yeah, we have won the game. I mean, the fishes is kind of horrible, though. So this, it's not, like, perfect, but, uh... At least the skill tree will be perfect. I can't imagine not being from this point onwards. Wait, maybe I should've... No, 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 I should not have laid, like, the other better things. Then I can immediately DD, like, uh... Further down. And that should be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be picking up. I have like perfect resources too. All I need is a, like a little bit of gold, buy out the magic university, then get some levels, and I'm gonna be having like the perfect manier. Um, yep. Isn't the, isn't the new strat all about fish? No, it's half about fish, and also it's like, um, just because fish is a goal does not mean it's like the perfect start, you see? And, um, as long as you don't comprehend that. I mean, okay, wait, what, what am I doing? Um, is this good? No, it's not. I'm probably gonna, ju gonna just move on, yeah. On that side, opponent's biome, really good, by the way. Ro well, actually kind of a bad road. Fortress mid, my biome. Uh, cove sign. Wait, what is mid again? <laughs> you, know, you know what would be good for my gameplay? If I didn't have the memory of a goldfish, it was fort, okay. Wait, he actually misses this down? Wow. Wow, I mean, sometimes people skip, like, the side down here because it's... Wow. A working brain? Yes, actually, exactly, that's what I meant. A working brain would be very, very, um... Influential and good for my gameplay. Like, yeah, not gonna lie. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. I... This... Taking the sword and not taking the sword is gonna be like the same. Oh, there was my timing, so I may as well just take it. Hey, Skull Menace! Are we winning, friend? Uh, no. We are horribly losing. 
Uh, I lost my win streak in the first 10 minutes of the stream, then I kept on losing even more, and then I couldn't find an opponent to write the losing streak. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, it's gonna be better now. That might be a call, but uh, it's the best I have. I think I should do this, yeah. I don't really need any more resources, though, uh, which is actually a very nice thing. Ooh. No, every single time I'm buying out the Magic University, and if I am, then actually skipping this is going to be like quite a bit better. So, there we go. 530, 430, um, 300, yeah, it's going to be fine. Let them make the calculations. Um, so there we go. We're going to be needing to flag some of the early complexes, and we're also going to be needing to get the other clunky down to you. Which is going to be like top left over here. Was Munir not Air Ellie Specialist? Um, no, he is a Psychic Elemental Specialist, but we don't really care about this. This usually does not really impact the game whatsoever. Uh, we pick him because he has, like, more Air Elementals at the start, because he actually is faster at the start as well because of that. And also he has, like, pretty good skills. Offense and uh, Logistics is uh, perfect. Um, yeah, they're perfect starting skills. And he also goes for, like, a lot of Ice Stats, which is a pretty good benefit as well. Oh, mm, Fine. Actually, yeah, you know what? Yeah, double you, double you. <laughs> I'll probably take the one. Wait, it's gonna be Pixies or Air Ellie? I would almost always say this is Air Ellie, but I've seen some ridiculous comfy box values. So I'm not actually entirely sure. I guess we'll just see. Wait, um... Minus one one stack? That's okay. I feel logs is pretty cool, and yeah, that's right. That's kind of horrible. I mean, it's not horrible, but... Ooh, that's a good box. Um, yeah, I get to go for this. Okay, perfect. I got quite a few level ups here, and I also see like a few more good boxes still that I will not be going for immediately, but I will sometimes soon. Um, that was a decent turn, and my skill tree is like the best it could possibly be right now. So, three less levels to get all of this to expert. Uh, very wonderful. You also see some pretty good boxes and so on. So, I kind of like that, actually. Probably gonna be going for the Altar of Water over here, too. Maybe I should have bought out the Altar of Water in the other town. Mm, that might be, like, a little bit difficult. No, actually... It's gonna be, like, only, like, a few fish difference, and uh, I would rather be able to fight better right now. Um, getting the uh, Stormies makes me brave enough to go for the Gorgons here. Um, they will not really give me anything, apart from some XP, but even that XP is gonna be, like, somewhat influential. Uh, pretty good. I need to bait a few stacks back, otherwise it's gonna be pretty nasty here. Mm -hmm. Then I need to keep on baiting there a little bit. Hmm. I should have baited uh, back a little bit more aggressively, as in I should have been in their attack range. Ah, uh, well, that's a minus one box for me. Not good. Ah, moral steel, bruh. Fine. Uh, this could have been something better to you, but... That's okay, there's literally not a skill that I would take from the witch out right now, so... Uh, going for it in the first place seems like a mistake. 
It doesn't seem like I can do the Sully Coffee right now and sell Dated Town. Uh, that one's gonna be like a little bit of extra army for me available. Oh, which is good. Of course. I should be buying out the Mitchell there. I mean, of course, for mana, but also because I'm gonna be buying out the army here eventually. So it's like a very reasonable thing to do. Uh, level 7. I will be able to go for the library pretty soon. Kazuni is all there. Um, yeah. Oh, because I bet it against you, Lekshav, you should win. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, did I get blessed? I did, okay, that's amazing. Uh, blessed was really important over here. So, first of all, uh, I want to see what my ancestors have left behind for me. Mm, yeah. Lying. Um, not very good for this faction, but okay. I need to level up into advanced earth, hopefully, this thing. Otherwise, I would not have like a. Yeah, otherwise, I would not have a good time here. Every single boss is Pixies in the comfy volume. It's actually so annoying. Yeah, so annoying. I bet actually blocking up here and shooting is gonna be better. It's the same damage, but like, it's the same damage like short term, and uh, it's quite a bit of value long term too, so. Don't really see why not. Ooh. Yes, okay. Um, got that part done, which is very important. And once again, the boss is kind of trash. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can get, like, more pixies from the orcs if I really want to. Which I... I don't exactly really want to, but the... Ali Confi and, Play and DXP are probably gonna be, like, worthy things for me to pick up. So, let's do it. Hey, Schemo. Plus, no, plus 90, minus 90. Yeah, but like, the XP. Oh my, wait, they're actually focusing the early. I mean, the Stormy. Ah, uh, that's pretty weird. Mm, the Fishers are so useless. Oh, fine. But actually, this might be bigger. Ah, uh, it's never bigger! It's always priced in this, in this uh, faction. Actually. So sad. Oh, and I don't have any gold left either. Well, sure. For now, we are in a decent spot this game. But I need to, like, uh, yeah, I need to pick up the pace. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, hey, Pawlowski. Okay, so we have somewhat of a stormy stack by now, too. This box is good. Uh, this boss is pretty good. This boss is amazing. Um, there's gonna be like these two bosses are gonna be like a pretty good objective for me to take. Like, that's already like a pretty good turn actually. So I'm gonna be content with doing that. I think this is gonna be like actually two stormy boxes, and that would be so good. That would almost get me to like be breaking already into the desert. Uh, from that point, the game would be running pretty smoothly, pretty well. Let's see, we can bless. Bless is amazing here. Oh, water. I mean, water actually still fits my strategy of going for the elemental stacks. Also, I need like quite a bit more gold if I want to do the elementals, because uh, the elementals are super expensive. Wow. Three hits and gets a move by. Yes, okay. Um, some Stormy Steel. And I'm almost at double the D stage of the game, which is gonna be very nice too. Yeah, actually this game is going well. I believe this game is gonna be solid for me. I'll be taking the Ali Complexes too. I'm gonna be probably triple building the Elementals. I'm gonna be doing all the good usual stuff that I would like to do. 
and that should be ending up fine. There we go. Did this fight just for the experience, and now we can move back. Uh, I'll give some Stormy Steel. Um, alright. Yeah. Uh, this is fishes. More fishes? Okay, better. Yeah. Um, better indeed. I get to go for these objectives right now, for the north, or I can go uh, for the Horned Demons and then south. I believe Horned Demons south is gonna be like the better path. Yeah, yep. Because I get to take the Naga Bank and the extra town. Um, Extra Town is going to be like another marketplace, it's uh, going to be like another place that I can farm off of and so on. I'm um, going to be pretty solid. I would rather not waste any mana here. Yeah. Uh, fish. Oh, missed that. <clears throat> That's actually a lot of fish by now. It's kind of good. I mean, I'm gonna be going for all uh, ranged power stacks, so that's gonna be fishes and stormies in the mid game. And there's gonna be like a lot of them, and that's like my entire strategy. I will also go for like both the sharpshooter, um, archery on Manir. Maybe, by the way. It's not like a guarantee that I will go for this, but that's the idea of this strat. I didn't actually make it, this happen successfully quite yet, even once. So this is still like, um,. How do I say? At least for me, this is still like a pretty experimental strategy. Oh, that's actually pretty good here. Yeah, everything here is like so good. Um, the boss, the town placement, everything. Did I get the library in? I think I didn't. Yeah, okay. Library gonna be available too. Um, the other complexes are pretty easy as well. Oh, uh, nice. Imagine playing by books. I mean, yeah, sometimes it can be good. Uh, I just want to learn the strategy, so it's gonna be like a, something that is um, available. So if I get like a good buying for it, I can actually execute it. It feels pretty bad if I get like a pretty good buying for like a certain strategy, but I'm just not good enough to play that, right? So I just want to learn. Also, I'm kind of interested in... Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a pretty decent timing for it. And I think water is gonna be like pretty good right now, feel. So this is almost the perfect skill tree for the strategy for now. I'm not sure what the last skill should be, actually. Maybe armor. Maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna develop some of these other towns by now. I have the gold for it, finally. Also, Sprite is faster, yes. Uh, so in this area I'm gonna be, like, already, uh, getting some of the early complexes, I guess. I mean, it is the way to go. It is the point of the strategy. I'm not gonna be buying out fishes yet, because I don't have enough gold to buy out the external army otherwise. <coughs> This is the best that I can do. <coughs> Yo! Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Bless. Thank you, thank you. Uh... How is this gonna go? Seems about right. Early, amazing. Oh, more fishes, more of these elemental steel. I will be doing quite a bit more gold though. I kind of was interested in the Bank here, but I ended up deciding not to go there. Uh, the soul that I can afford. This art is pretty bad. Armor? Is it armor? I'm not convinced yet. I'm gonna be keeping my options open. Then I'm gonna be playing from here on this turn. My armor's already ridiculous, by the way, for this sort of timing. That's amazing. Well, let's see me. Thank you, thank you, Calvaged. And the rest. I get to go for the shield as one of the options. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Targe, Medusa Stores. Wait, okay. Oh, oh, think, think, think. What else am I doing in this turn? I need to do something, but I'm not sure what that something is going to be. Uh, I could be taking the stockpile. Maybe this uh, Ellie Complex. Yeah, actually, the South Des uh, Ellie Complex seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, because one, I can actually put resources alongside it, and two, I'm gonna be. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be scouting out what the breaks are, so I can make a better decision on when and how to break because of this. Which is pretty nice. I should be able to block both of these before they hit. Yes, okay. Uh, pretty great. Another early conflict over here. I would like it, but by the way, Scorpio Course, that's an easy break. I think I'm going to be breaking on day 7. Maybe. I will need to upgrade this at some point, but currently I'm like super poor, so can I do that for now? Um, also my timer's in the gutter, that's not good. Hmm. Wait, so let me think. Oh, uh, this turn I actually want to just farm gold. Gold is going to be like my biggest priority, and I have like a pretty decent way to farm gold. There's a Naga Bank up here, and then from there I'm just going to go somewhere local. To get some more gold. Then I'm gonna be buying out the army and army upgrades and so on. Um, that's gonna be like way too expensive for now, but that's a pretty necessary build anyway. I don't really need experience anymore. I'm gonna be taking gold from the church house, by the way. Um, gold is gonna be like the main limiting factor for me in this game uh, from this point onwards. I'm actually level 13. It feels like I'm way high level because I got like way more de hero development done, which is kind of cool. Oh, water is good. I think I want to go for... It's not really another Naga Bank to go, uh, for me to go for, so I'm just going to go ahead in this direction. I uh, collect more gold. No, I don't want to lose all the sprites, though. Oh, but I didn't split my army enough. Hmm. Painful, actually. Yep, that's fine. Then just some more churches will do actually. Uh yep, that was a lot of gold. Then I will definitely want to triple build the fishes. Um that is happening. And actually it is literally already happening. That's nice. Uh not this. I'll go back into main, upgrade and upgrade. Yeah, beautiful. I don't have expert uh, bless yet, but I will very soon. And this is already definitely good enough for the break. Uh, I think more XP would be very good, but, um, later. Uh, for now we'll leave him to buy him. Ooh, that air thumb. Beautiful. Well, I mean, the guard could be, like, a little bit less nasty, but... It's fine. I believe that the first one of the fish is gonna be to move, which is annoying, but... Necessary. Mm-hmm. Actually, if this, if this sprite would have moved one hex forward, I could have actually saved the one stacks. Is it armor? Is it of armor? I think it's armor, actually. Oh, uh, timer, timer, timer. Um, there's the SOG over there, but, like, the fight is not so easy, but I will still probably do it. I mean, it is an SOJ, so it's amazing. So we take those. Mm hmm. Mmm, that's bad of me. Wait, double DD? No, I'm keeping only one DD on me. Um, okay, let's go. Every single time, the turn is gonna be start off, started off like this. So let's just do that. Actually, I'm sure. 
I cannot afford the uh, army from the last stand, so I'm just gonna roll with this. Um, yep. And now we just go back into mid, and we saw like some mana to farm land. Um, that's decent. Um, pawn positioning. He is in the in the bottom still, which is pretty regular for Inferno these days, actually. So that is um, yeah, basically that doesn't give me a lot of info at all. I should have killed a full stack. Anyway. Please let me. Dude, the, the, the lag. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. That build get fire and earth release as well. They're super expensive though. Like for especially how for how good they are, which is not very good by the way. Um if I have like excess amount of amounts of gold from maybe like an early cornucopium or something of that sort, then I would go for it, but um Yeah, it's like pretty um It depends. That's what I'm trying to say. Beautiful. Oh, very beautiful library over here, too. I like that. Um, Air Orb. Okay, that's, uh, that's actually super great. Nice! Ooh, hello. Um, okay, so he's, like, hunting about over here. He has the, um... Mm, that's a best of our team. Uh, may as well. There was, a, there was a Utopia along that way too. Kind of a shame to not pick it up immediately, but um... Anyway, this fight is easy. We pew pew. Mm, now I get to pick up like one more thing in this chain. Uh, it, arena cannot be... Actually, this arena can be in. Or this box gonna be in? I think I will actually choose the box. Um, water is amazing, of course. Uh, Basilisk could be like pretty good meat, and uh. Yeah, we can get, go back to this stand, build up, uh, finish out the marketplace so we can have, like, pretty good trading rates. Uh, maybe build out into some more income in the... In the uh, what? Oh, I don't have gold. Right, okay. I'm pro I'm likely going to be doing a Utopia next turn. The Expert Water kind of uh, enables me to do so pretty easily. And also the Basilisk enable me to, you know, just have meat for the sake of it, too. I mean, I will not need that much gold this game because I'm, I don't have the plum same. So, here, 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 and out. Okay, so he probably didn't have mana or didn't have the timer. Not really sure which one was the limiting factor. Um, okay. Then we're buying out meat and we're going for the, the Utopshka. Uh, this is gonna be the one that I'm doing first. It's a uh, small Utopia. Uh, we'll play someone like this, Lizzie, and she can focus down immediately. Instead of anything else, of course. Um, super easy. Corticopium and, uh, okay. Uh, this supports some building strategy. Which is not exactly what I'm looking for right now, but, um, okay. Ooh, 29 with Monarchs. Wow. Um, that's kind of tough. Okay, if they're gone. Not so tough. Mm-hmm. Um, more Basilisk. I mean, they're adding more to an existing pile stack, so it's actually kind of great. Uh, I need to try and maybe save some timer. I'm taking this fight just for some XP before I go back. 
I don't need that much more speed to pull off my skill tree, but... I should actually consciously try and pull it out still. Until it's done. Uh, back over to Marsh Shelf, we can get the Wibnets, because we will eventually get the Vine Boxes that we really want to upgrade into with Monarchs. So, we need to be, we need to be prepared for that. Uh, for the copy, I'm on the second setup, I can... Build out a time and see his stats are pretty good, um, as we would expect. Because, you know, we saw him like taking a bunch of stats in the middle. Of course the stats are gonna be like at least okay. And of course I'm gonna be buying out Citadels for even more Comfy Army income. Because that is what my current strat is all about. Hey kitty. Okay. You are banned. Igdabi. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can see my opponent going for the soft desert. Uh, can I pressure him? Should I pressure him? There was something that I wanted to do. Um, yeah, the arenas. That's not good enough. I'm gonna be pressuring. Um, Espertartry is a thing by now. That's good. All oh, Utopias are still nice. I think the battle should get focused here, hopefully. Yeah, something like that. Easy. Land features actually, so not that easy, but easy enough. Uh, okay, so we might be having the Penelka on this turn. So I need to prepare pretty properly. This would be my Penelka setup. This would be my one setup. And this would be my two setup. So now I'll go for the Penelka setup. And uh, yeah, we chill for now. Um, okay, I'm gonna be able to steal some more of the, the Topes here from this side. Uh, but it should be like pretty annoying to the opponent, of course. Um, these are pretty big though. I mean, while I'm pretty good at doing these, I am bleeding some army away, and that is starting to get somewhat noticeable. Actually, I won't want to do too much for now. Nice. Okay, that was, um whole lot of decent things that I already had and didn't need anymore. Um, can I take this down? I can. Yeah, sure. Let's go pressure. You didn't even take this uh, other Utopia either. Uh, really weird stuff, actually. In the swamp, I'm gonna be like a little bit faster here too. I wonder if he would actually try and fight me right now. Uh, he might, but I'm not exactly expecting it. So I'll have to go in like in a slightly different way. So I probably want the interference set up too. And of course want this. Yeah, actually I'm going with the interference set up. Oh, that's all the permastats. Oh, my army. Hello. That's not good. Depending on where I to be, that's not good. Uh, where am I to being to, actually? I'm gonna be defending this town still. Okay, that's fine then. Uh, as a the blue player, I'm always getting my mana back. Uh, no roll, frame, and good to go. Then I need another marketplace. Wait, what? Not here. I'll just get the middle one. That should give me the one to one ratio, which is gonna be like good enough for what I wanna do. Uh, then do as much as I can. 
Okay, two out of three. Mm, I'll take it. Um, okay, so we didn't get punished at all for making some mistakes. Um, yeah, the usual. Actually, I'll go here. I like these boxes, really. Ooh. Yeah, these boxes look juicy. Oh, beautiful. Wait, actually even here. This will probably look like pressure from to the opponent, but um, I don't mean pressure. I just mean to farm all these great boxes. I'm not buying out the army yet. Um, that's also fine. So this is my one. This is my three. And then we're going to be sitting on two, though. I do not believe the opponent can pressure me right now. Like, he needs to run away. And that is exactly what he's doing, which is going to be perfectly fine with me. Actually, I'm gonna be sitting on the battle setup. Ah, uh, never mind. How about the other part that I said? Yeah, I'm just go on the battle setup. Alright. When watching Duel, magic seems uh, so essential that uh, might does not have the same oomph. Wait, uh. Ooh, he's over there, that's fine. Actually, I'm not gonna get to top it, by the way. I think it's useless. At least for me. At least for me in my current position, it's useless. Ooh. Um, that's pretty good. I'm not sure if I will have the slots to equip it, by the way, but... I kinda want them. Another library here was amazing. Uh, right now what I'm doing... Wait, do I have any army slots? I don't. So I need to start off in, uh... I need to start off in this town. Then I'm gonna be collecting all the army very soon. Oh, by the way, my opponent can, will actually probably take this town back. Yeah, very likely to happen. Um, and that's okay. We can finally get equip some economy too. Sorry for rant, load the game too much! It might add up. Um, yeah, he takes his down back. Uh, we can see him. He is not showing elixir, he's showing plus one speed. Uh, neutral morale, so does not have leadership. And yeah, that's basically it. This is his, um... He's adding a lot of power here. So yeah, using a full turn to take a town back here for my opponent is not like a very strong play. Uh, we'll get to his main town in two turns anyway. Then I can deny... Oh, he actually got the fire like along the way, so that is like a point to you. A reason why he wanted to do this. Actually, he might want to get the side zone here. Ooh, that would be something. Hmm. It's a good thing that I denied most of the Utopias already, but there's gonna be like another one available that he will be able to farm, and I don't think there's much that I can, or even should, do about it. So there we go. Hmm. Um, sure. So, let's go. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna be wanting to go... Uh, through the confidence and pick up all the elementals that I ended up growing all the time. So... oh. Then, check out the art merchants for the bow, small bow. No, it's not here, unfortunate. This would have made it a lot easier for me to actually get that. Then, I think the first step is going to be the bow of the sharpshooter. I mean, the the bow of Elven Sherwood. That one is like a little bit harder to pick up, so I'm going to be going for that first. And then after this one is secure, I can do like the rest. 174 fishes. That's going to be like so hard for the opponent to deal with. They do like such good damage too with the bow of the sharpshooter. It's actually like such a good strategy, by the way. Like this elemental play. I feel like I will not lose. I feel like this is winning. But one of the reasons why I think it's winning is because the opponent's not like doing that properly, you know? I think on average the opponent should be like someone a little bit stronger at this stage of the game, but um, we'll see. Then we can go economy. We also don't have a simple. I mean, we don't have a Lion Shield of Garage. Do we see one at all that we could take? How many Ellie's stored in the dwellings on the biome right now? Uh, 15 per. So like, every single individual Ellie Confi has about 15 of the respective elementals. Actually 12, yeah. All 18, 13 over here, because I couldn't buy them up on when I flagged them. But it's still like, uh... Not that much. Oh, 
Oh, beautiful. Interesting. by now. Uh, we chill over here and we're gonna be like ready to attack. Uh, we can also pick up the Glyphs of Fear, why not? Uh, maybe start setting up the other ones too. Uh, we can assemble the boat of the Sharpshader, though not equipping immediately. Uh, I got more mana from the Scython. Sandals are pretty good. Um, yeah, the current setup makes sense. Yeah, the current setup does make sense to me. Mm-hmm. Maybe I heard them after all, and I'm going to be rolling with the 35% instead of 45% interference. For prayer? Uh, prayer, bless. Well, of course I have bless. Um, clone can be pretty good too. The opponent's setting up a down. That's fine with me. So now, the aggression begins. I'll be pushed for the opponent. And get a timing attack here. Ooh, 15 warm vivs. That's amazing. What a good find. Ah, that's actually... That makes me a little bit upset. That means I went all the way for that, for no reason. I mean, we couldn't know though. That's okay. So, uh, set up the Panelka setup. That's the bow. The bow's happening. It's like the main point of the strategy. And I believe this is going to be the casting that I'm rolling with. And of course the shield. And this is the setup. Our stats are very similar, but I'm rolling a deference all alongside this. So my stats should actually be ending up better in the Penelka, I think. But um, it's hard to say for certain. And I didn't pick up the one defense from the, from the Fortress Stone. Um, he is sitting... Oh, he's in the bunker? Yeah, he is. So he's trying to rally up the best he can. In this current moment. Oh, I have a meme. Did I show him the orb? No, I didn't actually. Interesting. Did I show him, show him the bow? Yeah, I did actually show him the bow. If he cared to check the damage, which usually people don't, so maybe it's fine. Dude, uh, this is the free setup. What? No, this is the free setup, and then in my one, I need this. 3k damage only eggs D. Bruh. Okay, so he did notice the damage. Bruh, what? No way. Wait, how would he key even? Mmm, sure. Someone might want to cast... <laughs> Nobody wants to cast me, trust me, but I ask. Okay, he's here. Buying out the devil there would have been pretty good, actually. But... Oh, okay, actually. Hmm. Decent Hydra. Um, this is getting chained, so I need to play things that are not very relevant next to it. Maybe. Maybe there's actually no need for a water tome. And I just go. Charm. No, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Okay.
Okay, 49 power down to 31, so he did actually hide quite a bit of it, and I did interfere quite a bit too. So that's awesome, that's awesome. He does have the orb, of course, and his first chain is gonna hurt, but everything past the first chain I should be should be pretty good for me. He does not have the elixir, he did, is not working the plus one speed. He did find a way to get up to plus three morale and plus three luck, which is kind of insane. How? I guess he got like the rally flag and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Because he did not have morale beforehand in the previous fight. Maybe he would have... Maybe he could have the... Wait. What if he went with the... Uh, what the pendant of... I mean, the... I forgot. Spirit of Oppression. Maybe he used the Spirit of Oppression to hide his morale. No, that'd be insane, though. Or maybe. I can't see how else he gets plus three. Ooh, all of them are gone. All of them are gone? Dude, all of them are gone. Bro, my... My power stack. I'm neutral minus one. Okay, it's so gonna be the ice elementals all the way. Uh, whose might is better? My might is gonna be... I, I guess it's about the same. It depends on whether he has armor and or, or or offense. His stats are slightly better, but I have armor offense, which might just carry. So yeah. You stream in English, so I don't think cast is necessary, but I send missions to Zuzel. We'll see if he responds in time. Um, I... Uh-huh. I think prayer is gonna be amazing here, by the way. Yeah, I think prayer is gonna be my cast. It's so good right now. Wait, but what if, what if I double buff? Yeah, wait, double buff would be met with um, a very menacing response. The very menacing response that I'm referring to is going to be... Uh, a Dispel. The first thing that I want to know is how much damage my Ice Elementals are doing. Um, after that, I can decide which way I want to play. Um, clone is going to be a viable strategy, possibly. If I can especially prayer up the Clone and hit them on the new turn, too. No, that's not going to be a choice. Uh, my Ice Elementals are actually not doing that much damage at all. Actually, I could, like, just chain him as well. I mean, chain versus chain, I actually just win. Hmm. I could Prayer Chain, too. Uh, Prayer Chain looks pretty good. Wait, uh, Chain would allow... No, Chain doesn't do anything. <laughs> I think Prayer Chain is going to be the choice. Unlucky, bro, come on. Minus one, and this is like the most influential hit that I will ever do. <laughs> but he has orb chain. Yes, I am aware, but I have more power. And I have more HP worth of army. And I'm also applying more pressure over the long time. So yeah, I have like just some advantages, that's all. <laughs> How long can the street go? Well, I mean it didn't go that I mean it went for quite a while until I until I mentioned it, I guess. <laughs> wait, how much how much wait, who killed the Mighty Gorgons? The devils? How are the devils dealing so much damage? 65? Wait, 65? Oh, because um, 37 versus 28 is 8 attack over. Well, no, because I have prayer on, so it's gonna be like 4 attack over. He has offense for sure. Wait, but that's like over... What? That's a ridiculous stunt. If I unlock now... Okay, no unlock. Thank god. I just bolt him and hit him. I mean, with Efidi's gone, what else was he gonna do? He wouldn't chain the. He would not chain the Ices. Yeah, and the Ice Elementals won him. I mean, even if he did, like, what does that do, even? Yeah, that's his power stack just gone. The elementals just uh, have so much HP, and these like apply a lot of pressure with the bow, the sharpshooter, and the archery. Okay. 
Because of luck, devils did luck. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's why. Good luck shines on the devils, yeah, that makes sense. Has a 46 spell power in terms of chain damage, while well, you have 39, isn't that right? Uh, not quite, because the base damage is um, a part of it as well. You're, you're only talking about the scaling damage. Wait, that does not benefit me, because... Anyway, yes, um, he has more chain damage, correct, but I have more HP. And I'm also, like, uh, applying damage uh, with other units, still. Meanwhile, he is not. Wait, the Fire Shield did so much damage to me. Well, that's okay. All protects. That's kind of weird. Actually, even a fireball would be pretty good for him right now. Um, move the bastards away from the big shower. I can also do damage through clone as well. <laughs> Isn't blessed bog here? It is, but um, protection is as well, and protection is the probably safer, better play. Like, she is there a mod that you can use that will highlight the battle details according to color? I don't know. 875 meter shower, that's not very impressive. Yeah, he has nothing remaining. GG! Okay, got the new number winning. Well, we lost the first two games, but the third one was uh, very nicely won. Uh, but a new strategy! Okay, this seems is actually pretty good. Uh, there's probably like a million ways that I could have optimized it. Uh, earlier citadels, maybe some energy elemental pivot as well. Uh, maybe like more box uh, attention. Anyway, this was a good game. And also like, yeah, PDF would actually be pretty good here. Like, the elementals, like, suffer a very clear downside, which is gonna be, like, the chain, the stormies. So I need to find, like, a... I need to, like, dig for a way to get speed prio. That would be something. And, or get PDF. By the way, I was about to give up at 114, had the 5.8k, and didn't diplo. <laughs> uh, yikes. It's also said we can play right now. Awesome. Uh, let's.